All right, homies, we out here at a laundry lake. Not expecting to catch anything like always, but Taylor's setting up the old catfish rod, and it's freaking bad news. We forgot the bait, like always. Well, it might be in the car. We're gonna check in a minute, but we'll see. We got the carp bait, but forgot the catfish bait. Also brought the other homie, Noe. Never really been fishing, so we're gonna show him what's good. Oh, dude, it's my lucky day today. Look at that. Oh, super glued. Frickers. No bites yet. It's been like 45 minutes. Got a little bluegill bite, but haven't landed one yet. Still got the carp rods out in their second run. Got some catfish rods out. We forgot the bait though, so they just got Slim Jims on them. Those haven't worked too good for us here. I think we caught a, oh, I wasn't even filming myself. But I think we caught a turtle on Slim Jims here one time or something. I don't know. But anyways, hopefully we get a bite soon. I swear to God, I was here. recording the whole time. All right, ready? Yeah. All right, guys, so we just got this crucian cart. Uh, we didn't record the last uh, second, so we got to redo it here. But this is a nice crucian. This is a pretty rare catch. You can tell it's a crucian carp because there's no barbells, no whiskers on it. Look at that big old tail, big old top fin. All right, so one more thing is that we messed up on the last recording and something happened with the memory card, so um, it malfunctioned. So I didn't get the show, but it was caught on the method rig. It was a perfect bottom lip, lip hookup with the old fake corn. And you can see no barbells, super cool fish. Never caught one of these. Like I said, I think it's a goldfish carp hybrid. And we've never even caught a carp out of here. So that's pretty darn cool. Oh yeah, pretty right. stoked. Let's let him go. Wait, wait, wait. All right, let, let, let's get this nice little <laughs> guy out of here. Where can you get my where you main fish finders? All right, just be, just be a little quiet there. All right, bye-bye, Mr. Crucian Carp. Oh, First one. Getting his energy back. Yep. Come on, buddy. He wasn't out for too long. He was hooked right in the bottom. Look at that. He threw up all the bread crumbs. That's what I was to say. Got rid of a little something. Sometimes these guys get a little... You gotta sing to it, man. I think the Crucian Carps might be a Don't. little more... Uh, not as hardy, but here he goes. Are you filming? Here he goes. Going back home. Hell yeah, dude. Friggin' dope ass Christian carp over at a laundry. So we didn't get any bites for like an hour and a half, which was crazy. We moved like 30 yards down, mm -hmm. actually like 50 yards down from where we were because we saw them schooling like crazy over here. So we decided to throw out over here and within 10, 15 minutes we hooked up. So location, location, location. Yes sir. You can use, there's a lot of baits that work but you gotta find the right spot. Look for them jumping, look for them swimming on the top, look for bubble trails and you'll and don't be get yeah. them. And don't be scared to move. You yeah. gotta move, move. Give it 30 minutes, dip if you see spots somewhere else. Yep. And this is like a rare, rare, rare thing. People never catch carp here, so the method feeders definitely work. 100 subscribers, you can get your free hey. method feeders. And, and, for it. Yeah. and maybe um, some new fish training how to's. Oh, yes, coming up. All fish right. finder, we get All the right, bites. Dude. Some nucks, bro. Nucks. First for of that. Sure. sure. Nucks sandwiches nux. around. For the support. All right. <laughs> All right, man. All right, homies. Made a little mistakey achy and sat in a puddle of water. Shorts, boxers, wallet, everything soaking wet. So I upgraded to wearing a t shirt for pants. Here, do a little uh, light, shine light on my pants. Look at this kook. Look at that Straight fashion. Moving fashion model right that's there. That's what happens when you can't afford carb gear in the US. Yeah, that's what I'm wearing, a shirt for shorts. Let me say something. And no shirt. But yeah, that's what happens when you're broke and you gotta use a chair for a carp net. Yeah, for a carp uh, care center. Yeah. <laughs> we ain't trying to hurt them, so we'll do what we <laughs> do. 
All right, it's been about 30 minutes since we caught that crucian. Haven't got any more bites yet, but um, hopefully we will here soon. We kind of moved a little bit. I don't know if that was the best choice, but we're seeing a lot of movement over here. Oh boy, hopefully we get another one. That would be super sweet. Right, we just moved locations. Noe's over there, he learned how to fish. He's trying to go for a little bass or a little bluegie. What is Taylor doing over here? Did you just reel in one? Uh, oh, he's going a little bluegill fishing. We got two cat rods out. We got two carp rods out. This is technically the no fishing zone, but people fish here even during the day. And at night, really late, a lot of people come fish here. So we have to try it out. I don't think it's that big of a deal. Hopefully we get a fatty. All right, Taylor's out of here. He's got work. I got work in the morning too, but I'm gonna stay for 20 more mins. See if we can get one more carp last minute, but I don't know. I seen him jumping. Not looking good. I think I mentioned before, but maybe not. That was a crucian carp. You could tell because it has no barbells, no little whiskers. I think it's a goldfish carp hybrid, and I think it's called a crucian carp. But if anyone knows any different, please comment below. And comment below anything. The comments are really helping, and the likes are really helping. We just got our account monetized, and fishing is expensive, so we're trying to make a little money to pay for the bait and for all this film and batteries and stuff but all the support's been great keep leaving comments keep leaving suggestions and we're gonna start a snapchat soon so we're gonna snapchat wherever we're going so if anyone wants to meet up with us come ahead we love fishing with homies but anyways hopefully we get one here in the next 20 minutes if not we'll check in one more time and say peace out There's something, huh? All right, fish homies, we out here night two with Alondra. Got that Crucian carp or Crucian um, carp hybrid or I don't know. I think it was a Crucian something. But anyways, with Big Bill tonight, we're going over to Alondra to try and get another one. Taylor might meet up with us, but I'm not sure yet. He's picking up his car from the shop. So we'll see you at the old Liz Egg. All right, homies, we've been casted out for about 30 minutes now. I left my keys in my car in the ignition with the doors unlocked. So I had to make a break for it and go uh, over there and get them out. But I'm on my way back now. I'm gonna recast and hopefully we get lucky. All right guys, I was walking down the old uh, side of the lake and came across a, a bass attacking something. And look what it was, a little crawfish. Look at this little guy. He wants to pinch me, but definitely didn't know these were in a laundry. Pretty cool. So if you have crawfish imitations, this guy's super small too, only like two or three inches. So throw your little small crawfish imitations if you want to catch a bass. He was literally attacking this guy right on the shore. So classic. It stinks though, it's weird. Yep. All right, make sure that it says recording on the screen. It says REC. All right, got something big on here, guys. Hopefully it doesn't pop off. Fight me good, it's been about 30 seconds or a minute already. I think I'm in the weeds with them here. He's coming towards me. Oh, here he comes. Here we go. Carp. Carp. Oh. 
Oh no, he popped off last second. There he goes. Oh, I should have had the net out. Frick, dude. Frick. Oh, all right. Gotta get back out there. They're here. Damn, I messed up because I was trying to put my flash. Oh, up. oh. So we got kicked out by the police like 10 minutes after we caught that carp. So we didn't get to hook up on another one and actually land it. Thing I learned tonight was always use a net. It was in my backpack. It's always in my backpack and it's always a pain to get it out. From now on, I'm putting it right by the fishing poles, just like everyone else. I don't know why I never freaking do that. That's like the biggest mistake of my life. That would have been my PB carp for sure. I don't know how big it was, but it was definitely double the size of anyone I've ever caught. And it was like fighting a freaking log or something. I hope you guys liked the video. That was two nights at Alondra. We're gonna put them into one video and I think I'm gonna go back either tomorrow morning or tomorrow night and try and get another big one because we've been getting a lot of small carp and I wanna get a big one up there for you guys. And I know Taylor wants to get a big one too. And with this weather cooling down, we might be able to get a big catfish out of there too. So don't be mad if we do a couple videos at Alondra. I think we're gonna go out on the boat here either next week or the week after and do a little saltwater fishing and guaranteed catch some so there should be a saltwater video coming out soon and look for that 100 subscriber giveaway because we're like five subscribers away please comment like subscribe we're growing as a channel and uh it's starting to cost a lot of money and take a lot of time to keep up and uh but the support really helps and make it all worth it. So thank you guys and hopefully you like the video and we have plenty more to come for you. Peace out, bitch, homies. One more thing I forgot to mention was I'm not 100% sure that was a Crucian carp, a true Crucian. It might have been a carp Crucian hybrid or something, but uh, the Crucian carps have no barbells and that one definitely had no barbells and it definitely had like a, a different style body shape, I guess you could say. So that was pretty cool. At least you got to see a little Crucian carp and a decent sized carp get lost by a bunch of kooks but anyways hope you liked it